be learning from the master here. We are here at Direct Liquidation. Yes, and the star, the star of the liquidator on OLN. You're going to be giving us a few tips that are coming up. You're going to teach us how to get a good deal? Yes, yes. It, called Tips 101. <laughs> tips 101. Jeff Schwartz coming up next on BT. Stay with us. Because if there's one thing she don't need is enough. I'm dressed to impress? I don't know. I'm going to have to find out from the master himself. Jeff Schwartz, the host just asked, when it comes to negotiating, is how someone dressed matter? Uh, no, actually, <laughs> the, well, you never know. Well, you're, you're dressed really good for this place. Oh, good. So, well, great. So we'll see if that actually makes a difference when it comes to negotiating. But for those of you who are wondering, who is this guy? Many of you know, if you watch OLN, The Liquidator. Jeff Schwartz, tell us a little bit about your show. Well, it's basically a show about how we go out and buy deals. So what we do is we look for, you know, big lots of merchandise. Then we bring it in and we remarket it to the general public. And actually, almost every deal in the warehouse is actually a saving. So then people come in, they try to barter with us, and... There you go. So that's the question we want to ask you. How do you get a good deal? So for instance, we're in your store right now. You're very well known for the furniture and mattresses, right? Anyone that's watched the show, and I know that we have some footage, but let's take a look, for instance, at this coffee table. We're trying to get a few tips here this morning. I go, hey, coffee table. Ah, uh, no, can I get a better deal than, uh, you know, $199.99? I'm going to give you 100 bucks. Well, it's all really an attitude, okay. you know? And actually, you did pretty good there. But usually, if you look at this coffee table, it's priced one ninety nine, but there's a lot of scratches and dents on it. So chances are, we'd probably priced it to probably get rid of it. Right. But it depends, you know? if it Actually, who recognizes this coffee table, they know it's a $700 piece. If you come in and you say, I'm giving you 100 bucks, boom, there's a sword. We're kind of going to go, you know what, forget it. But if you go in there and say, you know what? Look at this thing. There's this, there's that. You know, we're helping you get rid of Look at that. That's a major debt. So Would you take I, 100? So if I said, Jeff, you know, I'm telling you, I really want this coffee table, but can I, can I get it for maybe 100 bucks? Well, that's that womanly charm. That usually works, too. <laughs> if I go like this, can I get it for 100 bucks or a nice perfume? It's all good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How about 50? <laughs> How about excellent? There you go, the art of the deal. Again, the liquidator is on OLN. For more details, you can go to their website. We are here at Direct Liquidation all morning long. Jody and Riaz getting some great negotiating tips from the master himself. Exactly, and you know, someone might just kind of go, how the heck do you even get all this kind of stuff? I'm sure there are some great stories. Some are really good and some are a little sad, so. All right, well, we're going to share those stories and how you can negotiate the best deal coming up next on BT. Stay with us. Uh, well, there are some deals to be had, but I guess a lot of people might wonder, how do you even come to acquire some of the products that you have? Well, a lot of, a lot of it is, is people that open up businesses sometimes don't do a lot of homework. So they take an area, they, they lease a building, they get all this stuff, and then, you know what, it takes a lot of money to actually get a business on the, up and running. And uh, so what happens is, is they don't do very well, and uh, they call up guys like us, and we go in there and we say, look, you know what, we're going to give you a solution, we'll give you so much on the dollar, and we'll take it out. And if it's really good name brand stuff, then we're gonna pay a little bit more. So I guess that's really, when you look at what you're able to negotiate for, what is the criteria for you as far as what you're gonna take on? Because I mean, you don't just sit there and go, oh, someone's you know closed down their business, or oh, someone had an overage, I'm gonna just buy it. Well, yeah. what we try to do is we're trying to go after branded stuff, because as you know, today everybody wants branded and name right. brand products, so we'll pay a little bit more for it. So we're always looking to see exactly what the consumer wants, and we try to match that as best as we possibly can. So then we look at something like these guitars here, what would be the story behind this? So if you look at all these guitars, um, what happened was this, a retailer had these and there was a little bit of a water damage that came in through. And so what we did is we went in there, we paid so much on the dollar. Now the retailer could have actually probably remarketed them themselves, but unfortunately because the boxes were a mess, we went through each and every box, tested each product, and then put it on their shelf. So then for people that come in and go, okay, now I'm going to hopefully be able to get a deal, what kinds of things should they be looking for to be able to acquire something like a deal? I mean, these all look in pretty good shape to me, but there must be varying degrees. Yeah, so what we have to do is we just tell the consumer what the problem is. Like, where where these come from, we tell them. Like, this was in a flood, this was in a fire, this was here. So that way they, know. they can actually look at the product and they can actually make their own assessment. When you're saving 60 to 80% on some of the inventory, you may have to take the fact that you might not get a warranty on that, right. you'll have to take that into account when you're buying it. So those are all things that you need to consider, but for more details, of course, on the liquidator, which is on OLN, you can go to the website. And of course, lots of deals on their social media there, Michelle. Feel free to check out their Facebook page. Uh, who is this, Jeff? This is Frank. And Frank appears in your show. Oh, uh, he's, he's on the show. He's kind of like a mascot. You so know, not for sale? Mm, <laughs> everything's for sale, but this one's a really big price. <laughs> well, guess what? If you think that you got no skills, I'm not a negotiator, I can't handle, guess what? We've got some great tips, even for you. All come up next from the master himself, the liquidator. Stay with us. You're watching BT.
Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Jeff Schwartz, of course, the liquidator here at Direct Liquidation, uh, show, by the way, liquidator on OLN. So there are a lot of people out there, and I might, I might be one of those people too. I just think I don't have the skills to negotiate. Well, you know what? Negotiation, everybody's got their own technique. And if you don't know how to negotiate, the best thing is silence. How much do you want for that? 500 bucks? Power pause, because that makes the person think. What exactly is going through that person's head? And if you've got nothing to say, saying nothing is better than saying something at all. Right, so when it comes down to even understanding if there's room to move, for instance, if I come in, if I go into a car dealership, for instance, I assume that there's going to be somewhat room to move because of the sales situation, right? You're looking at commissions. How do people sort of kind of source out that kind of, uh, I guess, strategy? Well, right now, uh, like everything's so accessible on the internet, so you sort of have a rough idea on pricing. You got to, of course, and remember that United States pricing is different than Canadian pricing. But if you have a little bit of an idea as to what the product's worth, you may want to go to one or two different places. The thing is, it doesn't matter if you're going to the flea market or if you're going to a car lot or even buying a house. It's all about how much you're willing to pay. Sometimes people pay a little bit too much for that car, hence they might try to get a little bit more. I might pay too much for the sofa, and you might have to pay a little bit more for that sofa if you really want it. Right. So it's all in the art of actually you having a little bit of understanding before you go to bat. You ever make any big mistakes though when it comes to your business as far as negotiating for yourself? Yeah, I do. It's you know what? Negotiating is like playing baseball. You got to strike out a few times before you get a home run, right? So And it's all about the big picture, right? For more details, of course, on the liquidator airing on OLN, uh, you can of course go to their website Jody and Riaz and we'll be here of course all morning long here at Direct Liquidation. The star of the liquidator, of course, we're here at uh, Direct Liquidation. So we were just saying before the break here, this is uh, one of the things that people can buy here. Well, we should always point out, not every deal that we have is defective or has anything wrong yeah. with it. But this table, for example, if you look right here, it's just the weld. Other than that, there's actually nothing wrong with this set. So then how, what does this actually go for? So at, at the guy that was selling this, he was selling this for a, close to $899. This is a glass top table, yeah. but our price is $169. Right. It's not defective. This is actually a brushed aluminum finish, so it's actually really expensive to produce. For example, then you look at this uh, lawn chair. This was part of the same collection, and there's nothing wrong with this chair. Right. This one's 88 bucks, and the reason why he said, you know what, if you take all of it, we'll give you these just to clear it out, get rid of the line, and move in something different. So just the concept then of why people can get a deal, it could be something that's defective, and for me, I could live with a little something like that to save, you know, seven or 800 bucks for sure. But also it's in the way that you buy products, right? So when we look into your warehouse there, what's a bit of the process for people that don't understand how it all works? Well, basically what we're always trying to do is trying to bring back a good deal to the consumer. And now that it's almost the end of summer, right? So this is actually ample time to buy patio furniture. Right. Not only that, with a small defective mark, they tried to sell it, they couldn't sell it. They said, you know what, it is August, September, October are coming around the corner, let's just flush it out. So this is a good opportunity. It gets online onto our Facebook site. We then can offer to the consumer right away. And so people also still have the ability to negotiate as well. And we had some great tips again from Jeff. You'll be able to actually catch all the segments on our YouTube channel a little bit later, and of course our website. And you can catch the liquidator tonight on OLN Jody and Riaz. Of course, for more details, you can go to their website. But again, check out their Facebook page as well. Of course, lots of different things are arrests, uh, lots of different things are posted there all the time.